Hey, farming peeps. Topster12 here, Farming Simulator 19. We have some mods that's been drip fed to us again. These I'm excited about. I really am. There's a few things I don't like, but I can get over it. Let's get into this and take a look. The first rattle out of the box. Look at that butte. The cramp or crampy. Bandit 800. Oh my. Isn't she pretty? I'm excited about it, but I'm not really excited about it, if you kind of know what I mean. Anyway, uh, it's a trailer, of course. It is uh, available for all platforms, PC, Mac, PS4, Xbox One. Author is Kyosho. Uh, the category is trailers. It's a crampy. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm excited about it. I really am. I really am. I just, just keep that in mind. I'm excited about it. I think it's neat. And here's why I think it's neat. Boom. There's the trailers. We have the crampy here, which is for a tractor. It pulls for 51,000, takes up four spaces. And it hauls everything. 39,200 liters. It's customizable with wheels and wheel brand. We have the other crampy, but it's for a semi. Takes up nine spaces, there's 48,000 liters, hauls everything. Customizable wheels. Here's the other one semi, five spaces, 59,000 liters, hauls everything. Customizable with wheels. And we have the Bandit 800. It's 69,000. Hauls everything. 42,850 liters is the max that it holds. It takes up 22 spaces. Oh, I hate that. Because y'all know how I am on spaces. And the, the slots. I just... I, oh, that killed me when I seen that. It just oh, that broke my heart. Broke my heart. We don't want to sell it. No, hang on. We don't want to get rid of that. We want to look at it. You can customize the color. So there you go. It's not majorly, but you can customize that color. It's kind of I'm, I'm I prefer the red actually. I think it looks really good in that red. But you can customize the configuration of the capacity: twenty-eight four, thirty-eight thousand, or forty-two eight fifty. That to me is awesome. Now the price difference doesn't it doesn't change. It does go up when you hit the forty two well, no it doesn't. Forty two eight fifty. I guess I was wrong. It goes up when you have the twenty nine thousand. The other ones doesn't. So you got the twenty nine configuration of the capacity configuration, twenty nine thousand liters. $500 extra. Makes no sense. But that's the way it is. 28.4, nothing extra. 38,000, nothing extra. Or the 42.850, nothing extra. So the price is the same throughout that. And of course, you can do your wheel brands. That alone right there impresses me. I mean, just the configuration for the capacity of it, I think is neat. It still don't offset, in my opinion, the slot amount that it takes <clears throat> because I can come over here and get the Bandit 750 for four slots, and I hold 39.2. I can make a few extra trips <laughs> for that amount of slot saves. So, But it just kind of all depends on each person, what they want, what they like, and, you know, it's, it's your own preference. I'm just giving you the information. That's all I'm doing. Next, we have a mail trailer. I'm excited about this. I do wish it was an auto load. It's not. But I can live with it. I mean, I just have to manually load it. That's all it is. 
It's the Bell Trailer 975M, which is 9.75 meters. Uh, transports round or square bells. It's a bailing technology category. Manufacturer is Sonnison's, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of that. You, you don't want me to, I promise. Uh, the author is Swedish Bonatim. Available for all platforms, PC, Mac, PS4, and Xbox One. I'm thinking it is cool. I'm liking it. I'll probably, I'd have one. I would. I would have one. So it's not under trailers. It's under bailing technology. Right there. And all the way over. There it is. Going to set you back $12,800. And it will set you back three spaces. Three slots. That's not bad. Look at the rest of them. Three. A four. So, seven. So it's not, that's not bad at all. There's not much to it. It's nothing special, but it's a bell trailer. It has its job. Serves its purpose. It is customizable with a color. So you can make it all these neat little fancy colors. And let's go rim color. Let's change that. Let's make, oh, right up there. Let's make it all pretty. There we go. So you can customize your trailer there. You can do a custom wheels on it as well. To your wheel brand. So there you have your hay trailer. Which I think is neat. I, I, I would have one. That is awesome. I mean, especially for the slots, the mount, the price. I mean, look at some of the others. You know, that was 39, of course. It's auto loader. It's not auto loader here. So I mean that's sixteen, and it takes up four spaces. This is twelve eight, and it takes up one less space. So there you have it. Boom. Got a hay trailer. I'm actually excited about that. I really am. I love the simple stuff. Isn't she beautiful? I just love the simple stuff. Love that. Look at this beauty right here. Yes. Look at that. That is our newest cultivator. It is an Amazon Sin, uh, Sinus 60032TX Super. Yeah. That's awesome. Mouthful, but that's awesome. It, of course, is under cultivators. It is available. For PC, Mac, PS4, and Xbox One. Its author is Christy136. It will set you back $43,000. It's a six meter width. Needs a 300 horsepower tractor. And it takes up 11 spaces. That's not bad. 11 slots for that. That one takes up nine. That one takes up 11. That one takes up 15. Now granted... That's 12 meters. That's six. But, well, that takes 500 horsepowers. A 400 there, 500, 500, a 500. That takes three. And the spaces. So, I mean, it's compa it's just comparable. Plus the price. It's half the price. Look at some of those. I mean, that's, that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. I'm excited about that little sucker. And when you see it folded out, I'll have to show you. When you see that thing folded out, it is just beautiful. I don't know why I like that, but I love that thing when it's folded out. It's just like a work of art. I know, I'm weird. I can't help it. Next, we have a new mower. Look at that baby. It is a swing arm mower uh, with you know, lift control. It will hook to the front or the back of the tractor. If your tractor has the, the hitch right there, the three point PTO in the front, it will hook up to it. And I'll show you how it mows in just a second. Doesn't do too bad. That is a Kuhn manufacturer under mowers. Author is 50 Cadia. I believe that is for all platforms PC, Mac, PS4, and Xbox One. And like I said, it's under mowers. I just passed it up. 
So boom, there it be for $8,000. It will set you back and four spaces. A 37 horsepower tractor, which is actually kind of cool. Use a small, small, small tractor on that thing. It, then, it only has 2.7 meter cutting, but for those small nooks and crannies, not too bad. Especially when it takes up four spaces, five, a six, a three, so it's comparable. Seven, look at that one. There's a four, so it's comparable. It's it's not bad. I'm thinking it's it's a doable. I'm not. I'd, I'd have that. I would have that without a doubt. That one is just neat. And now, boom. Look at that beauty right there. That is a Lemkin Zircon 10-300. It is a power horror manufacturer. Of course, you see the Lemkin. Author is STV-Modding. PC, Mac, PS4, and Xbox One. Look at the beauty. I'm excited about that. I think it's neat. And why, I don't know, because I, I, I don't even have one now, but I think it's cool. I think it's the color. I really do. And plus, it's cute. <clears throat> it does have the uh, the ridge markers, which I think is also neat. And it's also it's found under the power horrors. So don't go down here to the disc. It's not there. You want to go to the power horrors. And it's right there for 10.5. It takes up seven spaces. It's a 120 horsepower tractor. It's three meters wide for the, the harrowing width. But look at this. It's four meters and it takes up eight. It's a 100 horsepower tractor. This one needs a 95 horsepower tractor. It takes up one space, but it only does three meters. So three meters, three meters. It's a little bit less, cheaper, so that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm excited about that. I really am. I don't have one now, but I think I probably will have one after this. I think that's just cool. Next, and last but not least, boom, the simple weight. It is a Lizard 550 kilogram weight. Manufacturer is the Lizard. Author is Swedish Bona Team. Available for all platforms, PC, Mac, PS4, and Xbox One. It's 550 kilograms, so it's a little over 1,100 pounds. Uh, it's 2.2 times 550, but for the simple conversion, it's 2 times 550, so you're looking at a little over 1,100 pounds. <coughs> mm, excuse me. You can uh, customize the color. And let's see, of course, where do you think it's at? Oh, yeah, it's underweight. I knew you knew that. It's okay. And it's right over here. I think it's neat. I mean, it's a simple, a simple weight. A lot of farmers used to do this. You can make it a bright color if you want to find it. You can put your own color to it. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. All, all the colors are available. I think it's neat. It will cost you $100 extra for that, so it would be $350 instead of the $250. That's the only customization, as you can see. Simple, but yet feasible and workable. Woo, one button. And it sets you back one space. I mean, it's awesome. One space where you've got five, two, five, five, two, five, five, two. Now, granted, it's only 550 kilograms, <clears throat> but it's still not bad. I think it'd work for smaller tractors. I mean, for the uh, the older farm equipment, it works great. I mean, that's actually what was used for older farm equipment. There is uh, two updates. One being the most important, I think, to the root crop storage done some uh, little cosmetic stuff to it, but it is now multiplayer friendly. So they've done that update to it is multiplayer friendly. 
So I had that same problem. You go on online multiplayer, you lose your root crop storage. It's gone. And I had to root crop in it. Uh, but that's fixed now, supposedly. So we'll see. <clears throat> that is awesome, I do believe. Also, some uh, cosmetic stuff fixed is the old machinery shed. So just some minor things fixed to it. Some cosmetic stuff. So that's the two updates that we had. And the mod drip, uh, drip feed that we had. So, oh, and I wanted to show you. <clears throat> There's a little caveat as well on this uh, power horror. And I can show you. When you hook it up, either front or the rear of the tractor, it doesn't matter. When you let it, when you, when you detach it from the tractor, let it down first, which honestly you should be doing with any equipment anyway, because in real life you're going to do that. Trust me, you're going to, it'll be a lot easier just doing it that way. Because if you don't, and you have it up here and you let it down, it has a tendency to rock over. Right there. Now some of you are going to say, oh, well, you're just moving. I promise you, you don't have to be moving for it to do that. I've tested it three ways to Sunday, and it it does it when it wants to. Now, granted, you can do the little trick right there, and that's probably the only time I didn't land on my tires. The rest of them I did. Wow. I did. I went through this thing like I don't know how many times. We almost had it. There. Let's do it that way. <clears throat> I did. I went through that thing I don't know how many times, like five or six times, and it every time I landed on my tires, except this time. Because me and it fought and fought and fought and fought. I can just get you pushed back over. I'll be happy too. But you're not going to do it, are you? See? Then you have to fight with this thing to get it turned over, get it flipped around. There we go. <clears throat> I promise you, it's it will do it sitting perfectly still. It just depends on where you're at. Because me and it fought a while ago. So it wants to rock right there, it just didn't do it. It depends on the ground terrain, I'm figuring. If it's a, lot of, if it's a little hump or whatever, it will rock on over. So just watch it. I mean, because it will do it. You do not have to be moving. You can be perfectly still. As you've seen right there. It will do it, I promise. So lower it down before you actually <laughs> detach it from the tractor. It's going to save you a little bit of a headache. <clears throat> and let's go look at the... Well, if we don't turn this over. <laughs> mow over the mower. I'll show you the cutting swath that this will leave. And we'll get it right there. Intact, get it ready. Let's go around the combine here. Harvester. Get out of the way. Turn that thing on. Lower it down. And there you have the cutting swath. And there you have it. That is the cutting swath of that mower. <clears throat> I don't think it's all that bad. A little scattered, but it's not all that bad at all. I really don't think so. Uh, you can have one on the front, one on the back. I mean, there's several possibilities. One on the front and the, uh, the tether on the back. So, I mean, there's a number, number of things you could be doing. I'm going to push that uh, cultivator off there. I want to show that thing straightened out. That is just amazing. I love it. It is so cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little more. A little more. Oh, we got it. Okay. Boom. <clears throat> yeah, I can hook up to that thing there. All right. Weight's in the way. I think we can still nudge it and get it out of the way. 
Oh yeah, we got this. Boom. Look at that beauty. All straightened out. Isn't that pretty? I'm liking that. Almost a perfect circle, or perfect circle. <laughs> perfect square, that's just pretty. And it has that uh, pivoting bar. I love that. So you can do almost, you can do, look at that circle. Whoop, teetered a little bit. Look at that. Have that swing arm, that is awesome. If I wasn't going so fast, it wouldn't do that. But you could come back and kiss yourself almost. Be sweet. You don't want to actually really do that in real life. Mess something up. But you can really do some corners on this thing. So there you have it. The mods and the updates. I hope you liked it. I hope you had a good time. Thumbs up would be great, people. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you hadn't subscribed, please do so if you'd like. That way you'll know when I put new content out. And on my channel, look over to the right to the featured channel list. There's some great people in there, put out some great content. Go visit them, give them a subscription and a thumbs up. Tell them Totster sent you. I'd appreciate it. I'm sure they would too. And guys and gals, until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by.